Afternoon, Fenlanders. How are you? Ooh, yeah. I got a GoPro hat. So let's try the GoPro hat out. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. Remember to keep hitting that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be some spraying, some irrigating. Stick around and find out how we get on. Bit quiet on the farm at the minute, just spraying and irrigating, really. Does anybody else's dad like to leave stuff laying around in the yard? To literally just dump stuff right in the middle of the yard. And... We gotta get some blight spray on. I mean, they're due, they're due tomorrow, Monday. I know you're probably watching this and it's probably Wednesday. But for me, it's Sunday. We're live. Yeah, look at checking my hat. Check it out. Got a hat with a GoPro holder on it. All right, let me see if I can work out how many hectares I need to put in. Close to 4,000. Three, four, two. Have some of that. This is the last on this recommendation sheet I've got from Kuki. Filled everything else out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this week's spuds. We're putting some Zorvik on. Manganese, magnesium. Incised. To protect non-target insects, arthropods, respect an untreated buffer zone of five meters to all, to non-crop land. Okay, avoid frost, heat of the day. So yeah, this is um, just an insecticide. It only kills the things I want to kill and not the good insects that I do want to keep. So you're kind of looking after the ladybirds, but you're killing off their food supply. So the Zorvik is our blight spray that's going on and inside it's just an insecticide by the looks of it. Yeah, get everything in the tank all in one hit. So let's write down what we're doing. Spuds, blight, Zorvik, cool. Right, you can come with me and we'll fill the sprayer up. Aha! Let's have a look at the label quickly, shall we? Yeah. So this will just attack the aphid. And it's powder. Oh, it looks lovely, this stuff. better yeah for insecticides and stuff like that powder is set insecticides oh my god wouldn't trust breathing a lot of that in so i just put that on uh keep it in the cab with me mask on powder insecticide it's late in the day now so gonna go and get this sprayed out so i'll meet you on the field leave that leave that agitating for a minute i'm just gonna come down here and have a look that's what blight normally looks like but that's just a fertilizer scorch from the other day. And you can see it's quite a lot of it about, and it affects the photosynthesis. Obviously, if you start reducing the area of the green, yeah, I just thought I'd come and sit and have a look at the soil, really. Let's go in here a little way. Normally, blight's all black under the under the leaf and stuff, but that's all gone crispy, where just where it got tinged. There's quite a bit of it about. Getting the fertilizer on at the wrong time has um, given them a bit of a sting, if I'm honest. So, yeah. Ridging them up as well as um, knocked them back fairly as well. So these had an inch of water last Tuesday and it's now Sunday. So I wanted to just have a dig down and see how much moisture is in the ground really. And I can confirm there ain't a lot. Take my glove off a minute and see how wet it is. Yeah, that's dry in there. So yeah, that's just um, 
that's just confirmed my worst fears really it's time to uh time to get irrigated again now this plant here looks like it's suffering with an earworm pcn problem oh a little potato look and that looks like black leg if i'm honest it's not growing very well compared to the others look it's half the size so that's why i wanted to come and dig this one up i just wanted to have a look on the root and see if you can see any cyst eggs they're starting to put tubers on now as well so the more water i can keep on these things the better i mean the, the canopy as you can see is now starting to close up so getting water on it's going to be a lot easier now because once the canopy closes up they keep the moisture in nah uh, without an expert here to point, point me in the right direction I think I'm wasting my time here trying to find a wasted, just wasted a good plant but it's always good to check your plants and see how healthy they are and stuff but that looks like black leg to me it's, the, the root is all rotten so yeah it's time for me to irrigate again and it's only five days since they had a dose on but what I came out here to look for in all honesty was not black leg was for aphids might be the odd aphid there not moving so lovely healthy plant look at the size of the leaf look it's as big as my fingers that doesn't look very good yeah look at the state of that that is black leg either that or it's just been smashed over it's been smashed over by the ridger i should imagine more than anything giving a hard time on the ridger but yeah that looks like black leg it's all gone rotten they're not good so yeah a little crop walk see how much moisture is in the soil and there's not a lot just confirm that i gotta get irrigating again praying for spuds don't half knock your um, booms around quite a bit yeah the boom track does struggle to keep up with spuds because obviously i'm going across roughly where my plow's been in and out but i mean i've leveled it out fairly since then but um but yeah there's some irrigating yay uh, get a battery on this pump. I'm only going to use this pump because I uh, filled it up with diesel. I did say to my dad, get rid of my truck because it'd be in the way. But no! Grumpy granddad had to leave it right in the way. Let me see if she'll fire up. I don't want to run it for long. I just need to make sure it turns over. Kicks into life. <laughs> And she does. This is the best thing I've ever bought. Like the world's smallest, big adjustable. Metric adjustable. You can tell it's Monday morning, can't you? Going the wrong way. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. That only need to be nipped. There you go. We're in. We're our way. Dad's just changed all the stuffing in this thing, but all this stuffing is in there. Right. These rings. Real simple to change, but look how hard they've gone. They ain't never going to stop any water coming out of the seal there, being as hard as that. They need to be soft and supple. All right, let's get it. See you up the field. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We're at the field. We're at the field. Get this shit on. Ah. Uh. Oh. Sorry, end up smashing you lot around. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm still digesting my porridge. I got up well late this morning. I am well late for work. I got it, I got it, I got it. First time, look at that. Look. I am so skilled. Oh no, I didn't get it. <laughs> Good job I didn't drive forward, didn't it? I didn't think it was off the floor very far. Now I've got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, I keep climbing in and out of these tractors. Gonna need a stair stair lift in my tractor before much longer, I think. Oh, I feel well hurt. 
Oh, look at that, look. Just about it. Try not to run too many puns over. Uh, which I'm now going to do. Yeah, that's pretty good there, let's try that. Let's see how that looks. It only takes a few minutes to get these irrigators pulled out. You know, it doesn't take long at all. 20 minutes you should be able to move an irrigator. What's the fastest you've ever moved an irrigator and got it running? Right. See, should have been a fireman. <laughs> I still can't open them without it. Doing that. I'm going to need another lay flat up here, I think, anyway. I don't know how I done it last time. Well, that's not very tight, but that shall do. Shall do. I must have done something different. Because that ain't going to reach there. Tails are looking lovely, though. For us, on this white land, cold land. Just goes to prove, I think, that uh, all the chemicals, the Omex, the uh, Venom Prime, everything's working a treat. So all that investment, providing we get a decent price from when we harvest them, has all been worth it. You know, you've got to speculate to accumulate, and uh, us as farmers have to speculate a lot more than most. But we'll see. We have had some crops on this whole field of marbles. About five ton of acre I think but that was when we first took it on why but this is irrigator number two <sighs> get this back in here see what my backing up skills are like I'm running a bit of sugar beet over but uh, I'd rather run sugar beet over than I would potatoes <clears throat> I always go nice and gently lowest gear you dare take your time do a proper job well, I'm starting to sound like me slow you down boy Oh. Ah, you know what I ain't done? Moron! Muff it! Did you? There we go. Turn the hydros on. Gotta have some hydros. <laughs> Can you not see that? Looking straight down the irrigation reel. Not the, not the frame, but looking down the reel. Hang on. Try again, shall we? See what my fireman skills are like. Oh, nearly. Very nearly. Ding! Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Loads of room. Here we go, another two in situ. Now I'll turn you off for a minute. Here we are. Ready to pull this little puppy out. So how's your week been? How was your weekend? Hopefully you didn't get sunburned too badly last Friday. Man, it was hot, wasn't it? I had the nice little breakdown on the boat with the puppies. The puppies weren't happy about that. So while I was broken down, I uh, waited for an oil filter. I took the puppy down on the paddleboard which was highly amusing. Both two puppies on a paddleboard and me. Obviously not the puppies on their own, that would be Right, we're now overlapping where the other one, where that one reached to, so uh, I think that'll do us there nearly. And that will do us. Four before out. Farmer, out. See if we can get the first one fired up. 
enough oil in there to do a 10 hour run. They all use a little bit of oil. Some of them use more than others. Some of them use a little bit of water. Some of them more than others. Right, that was on an 11 hour run. So what we got there, eight, 10, let's put it on 12. Turn the old throttle down a bit, B. Right, Dad's got that one up and running. Right, another one going. Last irrigator this morning. And that's three all up and running. Let's get it all hooked up first. All good? Yeah. So there you go, three irrigators all up and running. <laughs> Famous last words. Don't ever use that word, terminology in irrigating. Yep, there, three, three irrigators all up and running. Happy days. Da, 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 da. And off we go, back to the farm, to start fixing stuff. See you in a little while.